Hi. 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 Who are you waiting for? Any of you? I don't know. Było takie wzruszające, tym malutki, że nawet skąd te dzieci? Myśmy w We have one of the greatest composers in the world today that's going to work with this. This is something which we must do as long as the great composers hold out. <laughs> New ones. We welcome you and appreciate your working with us. Please come. I think so. Yes. I'd like to tell you only one thing, that it's a, a great pleasure for me to have this opportunity of uh, make music with you. Lutoswavsky, if I can call him Lutoswavsky and make it impersonal for the time being, is without doubt Poland's leading composer. At the same time, he is one of that country's most senior composers. And yet, like Michael Tippett in England and Elliot Carter in America, he remains young at heart. I would say younger with each new birthday. There's something at the heart of the music that it has a radiance, a strength of purpose, and in practical terms, an ability the composer has to write real fast music. Since the golden age of Polish Renaissance music, there have been three great Polish composers, Chopin, Szymanowski, and Lutosławski. And all three share a common musical and spiritual heritage. That's obvious. Who was it who once said that Lutosławski is to the orchestra what Chopin was to the piano? Both Chopin and Lutosławski, and one could say Szymanowski too, can hold an audience spellbound in moments of musical poetry, both haunting and poignant, passionate and strong, expressive qualities which are typical of a Polish artist. Important is that you finished woodwinds, the, uh, the measure before 38 that you finished together, because uh, there mustn't be anything on the third beat. Huh? If you happen to not to finish too early, just, just cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and basically, I came here for the, not only for the meetings with the students and um, faculty members of the USC, Music School of the USC, but <coughs> also for the inauguration of the Reference Center of 
the Polish music, mm -hmm. uh, which has been inaugurated. <coughs> I wanted to <coughs> take part in it, not only just being present, but also I wanted to, to bring something. Mm -hmm. And I did. I brought, namely, five manuscripts of mine for the same, of rather important pieces. <laughs> Thank you, Maestro. We'll proudly keep these manuscripts, and I will be very privileged to have this letter the rest of my life. Believe me, he writes heavy music. <laughs> the moral support of Witold Lutosławski was a source of special strength to us. To those of us who trace their cultural roots to Poland, he is a national treasure. Nasz skarb narodowy. His backing and ambassadorial work on our behalf is bearing fruit in many ways. So, you know, I attach a, very, a great importance to that uh, work of, <coughs> of um, Stefan and Wanda Wilk, because uh, really uh, there is very little knowledge about uh, what's going on in my country. Yes. And, what, and I think it's not just because, because uh, Polish music, I think, uh, deserves being known because yes. there are many very important things going on there. Yes. Is there as much activity in Polish music now there as as always? I mean. Oh yes, yes. There's yes. been no slowdown. No, no. I shouldn't say so. No. Of course, the life, the, the everyday life, is very difficult for uh -huh. for everybody. That's that's yeah. obvious, you know, yeah. if you <laughs> read <laughs> sure. papers, newspapers. So you know how it, how difficult the life is. But nevertheless, the festival, at least the festival, is still is still there. Okay. Festival was only once <coughs> suspended. It was in 1982 because it was during martial law, and it was impossible to to do neither for us nor for just organ organizers. Our ambition, I mean our, that means because I am a member of the commission, the program commission of the Warsaw Autumn, our ambition is to present as many as possible of young generation, not only Polish but international. Sure. And there are many who come, who come to study in Poland because they know that there is something very <coughs> lively in, in Polish music now. Try to follow my right hand, follow my left hand, for the for gender, please. There are two kinds of audiences. Uh -huh. One that Germans call Beethoven Tchaikovsky publicum. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's an ordinary, ordinary uh, audience of subscription concerts that always want to hear the same symphony of Schubert. Yeah, <laughs> you know? sure. Yes. But uh, <clears throat> The audiences of uh, contemporary music festivals and concerts is entirely different. For instance, those who come to the Warsaw Autumn are not the same people as those who yes, uh, yeah. come to the subscription concerts of the National Philharmonic. 